I'm going to be talking about some stuff today. Mostly some... Just, I'm going to be talking about some stuff today. Mostly weird Johnson solids and other Johnson solid like shapes. Like trying your Hibis Vanu Rotunda. Um... Snub Diasphenoid, Dire by Fastidium, Ortho by Fastidium, things like that, and trying to understand them. So, I think we should start, I think we should start with the easiest one to understand, the Dire by Fastidium. This is sort of like it's back to the elongated orth by fasting and elongated drive by fasting and things like that. So we're just going to talk about all of them in one. So here's a Wikipedia page. So here you can see there's, there's variations. But what's a by fa what's a Gyro by fastidium. We can look that up. Gyro by fastidium. Right here. Gyro by fastidium. So let's look at it. So it's a gyro, as I talked about before. Gyro. Like this, and it's by so what? So it's a gyro by something, but the fastidium part. What's a fastidium? Well, in this context, a uh, fastidium is a triangular prism. So you can kind of see the two triangular prisms. That's a jar by fastidium. We have honeycombs and all that beautiful stuff, but that's not what I want to talk about right now. So, ortho by fastidium, jar along a jar by fastidium, things like that, is the basis of a uh, jar by fastidium. What's a. Uh, how about a triangle hepis veno rotunda? That's a little bit harder to visualize, so triangular hepis veno rotunda. There's a Wikipedia page for everything here. This is what it looks like. And I'm gonna have to break this down because it's very complicated. We have our rotunda. I, it's very hard to see. A triangular rotunda right here. This triangle right here makes up. And then the three pentagons, triangles, triangles. It's a triangle rot um, rotunda. A uh, hepis veno is oh, two wounds separated by another wound. I might be wrong about that, but if you just take out this triangular rotunda, if you take that out, hepis veno, and this veno. How do I explain this? Sveno is, before we talk about Svenos, we have to talk about wounds. So a wound is, take a square, or really any even-sided polygon, and put two triangles on opposite ends that aren't coplanar with that square. That is a wound. And now a sveno is two wounds. 
Makes sense, right? So Triangle have us from the rotunda. Now I understand that. But there are other Johnson saw too. Johnson saw too. How about the snub dice phenoid? So basically, imagine taking a tetrahedron and solidifying it. Simplification is just expansion mixed with not gyration. Mixed with twisting it. So if we're gonna take a prism and make all a pair of triangles squares. That's twisting, and expansion is just moving all the faces away from the center and filling all the gaps with the vertex figure of that said shape, and the uh, edges will become rectangles in the special case, squares. But, as you can see, this is a sort of kind of type of simplification I call dual simplification because you're not just expanding you're also rotating these triangles so these two triangles would become these two you're rotating these triangles in a fashion that they would go like this you fill these triangles in you can also think of it as simplification but without the vertex and you can also think of it I'm pretty sure I can't think of another way to think of that, but you can see this structure. Bam! These two edges, these two edges. You're just taking two equal triangles on that, twisting them 60 degrees in order to put another one in there, putting another one on top, and then continuing to do that for all the sides. So there's different pairs. We can talk about other weird ones soon, but that just we and we can talk about other properties probably next video, but that's just what I wanted to talk about today. So yeah, bye.